हेलो वीवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एज ईद इज अराउंड द खॉन आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस श्रीलंकन ट्रेडिशनल पेती कैम और हैंदी कैम और एट होम वी कॉल इट ऊत पनियारम बट नाव डेज दिस स्वीट्स डजन एक्सिस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स लॉन्ग प्रोसेस This is my sister Rizana's ECPC kaum recipe. Growing up in Kandy Sri Lanka, these hadi kaums are very popular that up country people make it and it is the easiest kaum recipe to make. So try this recipe at home and add a new sweet treat to your eat table this time. For this recipe, I am going to use two cups of red raw rice. I didn't have white raw rice, so you can't use white raw rice. Rinse it few times, and I am going to soak it for about two hours now. After two hours, I am going to drain the water completely and leave it in the strainer for about ten minutes. Now take a tray just like this. and place a large clean kitchen towel or a napkin on the counter top table and spread the rice on the kitchen towel let the rice grains dry in shade or under the fan for about 45 minutes to 1 hour do not dry this in the sun because we need wet rice flour for this purpose after 2 hours now it is time to grind this in the food processor or you can use a mixi jar or whatever grinder you have at home grind to a fine texture take the ground flour into a sieve and sift it after sifting you will see small granules of the rice grains in the sieve i am going to save half a cup of this small granules of rice flour for later use do not skip this step because we definitely need half a cup of extra rice granules for this recipe now the wet rice flour is ready to use make a fist just like this and if it is holding the shape it is wet rice flour now let's get ready with the rest of the ingredients 3/4 cup of all purpose flour 3/4 cup of shredded coconut 1 and 1/2 cups of brown sugar or you can use white sugar 1 cup of kithul trickle 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds but this is optional this will give a small crunch to the kaum 1 and 1/2 teaspoons of cardamom powder and a pinch of salt let's start mixing the batter to the rice flour at the all purpose flour and the rice granules we saved earlier shredded coconut sesame seeds cardamom powder and the salt tiny pinch of baking powder sugar and give a good mix mix it really well until well combined and then add the kithul trickle give it a good mix after mixing really well I am going to add one cup of water. Now I have added half a cup. The rest of the half a cup I am going to add gradually. But you can adjust the amount of water in the batter to achieve the desired consistency. The consistency of the batter can affect the texture of the kaum. I am going to leave it closed for about half an hour to forty-five minutes. Meanwhile, I am going to heat some oil in a small kadai. After about 40 minutes now the consistency is too thick i am going to add a little more water now now the consistency is just right now let's start making the kaum be ready with a small sharp wooden stick and an oil drainer before you start frying keep the oil on medium and add a spoonful of batter into the oil and immediately swirl the oil towards the kaum using a spoon when underside of the kaum turns into a golden brown color now using a thin stick make a thin hole in the middle of the upper side of the kaum and then 
Flip the comb over and let it cook until the other side turns golden brown as well. Prick it again with the wooden stick just like this. Use a spoon to remove the crown from the oil and let it drain on a oil drainer and repeat the process until all the batter has been used. I am using a measuring cup for this purpose so that way I can get even size cow. Serve the cow while they are still warm and crispy. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. Spread the joy of cooking. See you soon with another interesting recipe. Thanks for watching. See you later.